Hey everybody, I guess the reason why you was watching this video is you got 100 people to comment on my post. If people don't know, basically I asked all my friends to share my post. And the challenge was on that one video, I asked everybody to put one comment. And in that comment, they had to do two things. One, they had to be sincere and put one good thing about themselves. Two, they had to put a nice comment about either A, a mutual friend we both had, or one of their friends. But one of their friends then has put another comment on there. So let me give you an idea. Because I know three people who all know each other and they're all good friends. So I'm going to link. I got a good friend who comes straight to mind. And his name be Anna Bucklow. Now he is one funny mother person. And I don't care. I, he is just one funny motherfucker. I'm just going to say that. He is oh, he just funny. If you want to know how funny that, mofo, that, that young man is, you want to check out his uh, website. That can't mind blocks. That's some good shit right there. He clear your PTSD right up. You won't even know you's doing it. Anyways, I know he was my therapist. He got rid of my PTSD nightmares. And he then got a good friend that we both have called Kyla, Kyla Golden. And I'm sorry if you don't want your names on this video. Tough shit. Don't be my friend. I don't give a shit. Uh, this is by me making you guys laugh. Because right now, I had the shitty stay in the world. I can't make money. I can't make shit. So I just have to do the one thing I'm good at, and I'm going to make y'all laugh. And like I said, you got Kyle Golden and Andrew Buck. Well, they're two of my best friends. They are absolutely diamonds, and I love them motherfuckers to bits. Kyle Golden, she is a diamond in the rough. In other words, I know she got so much shit around her right now, but she still shines in, shines like them stars in that pretty sky, and she always shining light when I need her, especially this time of night. And we got another girl uh, who is kind of freaky. I kind of like her. She uh, she good because she night out like me. She like being up late like me. So we have some weird conversation, ladies and gentlemen, all about moons and stars and what sign I am. And I sometimes, if someone said to me, what, star, what sign am I, I say hump that bridge because I always got the hump and I always got people back and most of the shit I say is bridge I don't know what. So the way it would work would be I would firstly tag Adam or I would tag Tina or I would tag uh, Carla and I would tell either of them that Adam Book Club would have to put a comment the something he loves about himself but then he would have to tag either Carla or Tina or even both because he's a selfless motherfucker so he probably would do both. And they would then, he would have to put something nice about them. Now, he will do that, no problem, because he loves spreading love like me and making motherfuckers laugh when you need to. He's he, one he, 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 he funny motherfucker. Anyways, uh, then you would have to have Carla, and she would then have to do the same. She would have to put a comment about Tina. If she didn't know Tina, she could put two other people. And when that hit motherfucking 100 people, you could see this video. And that's why he watched it right now. Anyways, <clears throat> it's Friday night. I might be a little bit drunk. That's why I got the grapefruit, because I got to drive in another. Well, actually, no, tomorrow. No, I do not have to drive. I might have myself another beer. Anyways, 
Let everybody know we had some right shit this year. Paul Strong's a motherfucker telling us what to do. Uh, we got this COVID, which pretty started, pretty much, I believe, started as Corona. And then Corona Soap, uh, Corona Beer Company, they sue Paul Strong's. So they had to change the name to COVID-19. So I'm going to tell that motherfucker in 2021 or what? Say no, COVID twenty one. COVID twenty one. Sound like a football game. Yeah, man. Anyways, uh during this last few weeks I've been through some motherfucking shit. I'm not even gonna tell. But I decided, like I said, if I can't make money, at least I can make you motherfuckers laugh. I might not make any money doing it. But at least I spread a little love because I love y'all. Anyway. I discovered something a couple weeks ago. This motherfucker called Jeff Dunham. Excuse me while I have a quick drink. That's my fuck voice is going. So if you guys didn't know, a few years ago I had my throat damn cut. And beforehand I could have done this voice no problem with just glass of water. Anyways, before this motherfucking voice runs out, I discovered this guy called Jeff Dunn. Let me show you this motherfucker right here. Hey, let's assume this fucker. There you go, Jeff Dunham. And there's my good friend, Bub J. And if you guys don't know, um, I'm pretty behind in the times. And I only just discovered what this motherfucker does. And he basically, he funny as fuck. Uh, he just doesn't know how to make me laugh. You got that damn water, you got peanut, and you got, uh, Ahmed. And I probably watched this one, this one part of the video about a goddamn dozen times. But whoever invented Netflix, I motherfucking love y'all. Anyway, I'm gonna get on with this. Uh, this is a song he does. On a Christmas special called Road Gear Christmas. I'm gonna give you my way. And I hope it just, I hope, I hope it ain't no good. I hope it just make you motherfuck laugh. So here we go. Back inside my truck, my wife rides in the back because she won't shut up. There's a deer in the headlights, so it'd be a sin. I go no more and run over him. It's Rock Hill Christmas. Listen, pretend right. It's Rock Hill Christmas Because if he's when the lights hit their eyes She loaded him into the back of the truck I was driving her somewhere when he done woke up I can believe what I saw in my rear mirror My wife was a wrestling with the mad deer It's Rocky Hill Christmas He had 50 pounds over him It's Rocky Hill Christmas It was not until she had him pinned by the time we got home, he was her pet. He slept, he slept on my side of the bed. And I had to spend the night out in my truck. But I had some beef, so I didn't give a darn. I know, I almost said damn. 
A couple days later, I made him a deal. If you weren't for me, then he wouldn't have been my next meal. I covered his antlers with foil, and then I plugged the tea cable into his rear head. It's Rocky Christmas. Every Sunday, he's up on my roof. It's Rocky Christmas. I got a car in the NFL too. Rocky Christmas. That dumb deer changed my life. It's Rocky Christmas. Next time I run over my wife. By the way, if you want to know, you turn that off. What is noise thing? And by the way, this video is sponsored by Katai Pen and Budweiser and Archers and probably the six tons of milk and black coffee I'll be drinking tomorrow. Anyways, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. If I'm out of work. I decided I'm going to carry this voice on because it's the only one I'm good at. I can do Ahmed, but to be fair, uh, we now a minority in our own country. So if I start doing Ahmed, I can sing. I can do that because it's more like jingle bombs, jingle bombs. I cannot do that one. I cannot do that because I have too many people around the Force Hill and around the uh, Force Hill and around the Edward Street. And sometimes they laugh when you do the accent, so they want to pull out the gun on you. So I cannot do this one. So Bob J, he be safe because he just wonder a motherfucker. He trailer trash, but he put a fucking funny trailer trash. So if I'm at work, and you say, how you doing, sir? I'm going to say, I'm doing pretty good. And if you guys don't know what the fuck I'm doing, then just say, God bless me in that event. You can type in and rest, bam, and uh, whatever the fuck I'm going to call I had to that. I've had a few drinks myself. So, uh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Take two. Merry Christmas, love and light, happy corns, happy Ramadan, whatever that motherfucking shit you guys have. In my life right now, I don't have a religion. I just believe you take it a day at a time. Learn to laugh at yourself, but more importantly, to love yourself, because no motherfucker is going to love you more than you can love yourself. And as I said at the beginning of this video, I can't make a dime at the minute. So the way I decide to live my life is to make you motherfuckers laugh. And I hope this video gets shared so you can help other motherfuckers laugh. And if you behave yourself and I find some motherfucking other funny shit, I may post that too. Peace, love, and see you later.